Nico. Steph, what's up, buddy? Hey guys, welcome back. Heading back to Delta. Yeah, as usual, I'm watching YouTube videos when I really should be working, but that's my friend Nico from Nico's Wings. We've been kind of sending messages to each other online, but we've never really had a chat with each other, but we both fly a Cirrus, we're both YouTubers, we kind of thought, why don't we have a chat? I've followed your channel for years, years and years, and I've watched your videos, your Cirrus flying videos on your channel for a long time, and I have to say, your videos are honestly one of the reasons why I decided to get into recording my stuff and putting it on YouTube as well. So. It's really cool to talk to you. So thanks for all the, the work that you've done so far. Well, that's very nice. Nice to hear. You know, your videos are very inspiring. The way you put them together, you do a phenomenal job. And uh, uh, it looks like your, your subscriber base is really going uh, great too. That's good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks. No, it's growing nicely. And um, I tell you what, the thing I like the most, I don't know whether you find this on YouTube, but the thing I love is all the communication you get back from the people watching the videos. So the comments, I mean, of course you get some comments that you just don't want to see, but some of the comments and most of them, there's such a cool community of people in aviation that you can connect with through YouTube. It's very, very true. The comments are very, very powerful. It's uh, what personally keeps me going quite a bit. Uh, it drives. Uh, I learn a lot from the comments of other pilots or even non-pilots, just you, different people asking questions. And, uh, 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 and then meeting the people in person is just uh, a, an amazing way to connect with people that think alike and, and uh, you know, it's, it's, it's really nice. It's really nice. It's great. Hey, so I wanted, to, I wanted to talk to you about that because, like I said, you've been doing YouTube for a lot longer than I have. What made you start wanting to record your flights and sharing it with people in the first place? Very good question. You know what? Honestly, it was just me wanting to watch myself fly just to see what I'm doing. My own personal feedback. Just wanted to see, okay, did, what did I do wrong? What could, what could, could had I done better uh, in, in a particular situation, right? Just for me to be able to, to help me uh, understand what went wrong or what I did good or how I did or just get, get feedback for myself. It was never in uh, my intention to actually uh, do something with it. It kind of happened. Uh, all of a sudden, I started getting followers. All of a sudden, I started getting a check from Google. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I love flying. I do what I love the most. And I'm getting paid for it. Hmm, I like it. You know? There's something here. I can do something with this. Yeah. Yeah, I can do so. And then getting that 1099, you know, which is in the US, if you're an independent contractor, mm. I know you folks have something similar there in Australia, you get a 1099 form that shows you basically how much money you made for the year because that's what you got to report on your taxes. Getting it, I'm an actual Google employee. <laughs> <laughs> Google partner. What made you want to get into aviation in general, though? Like, what made you want to become a pilot in the first place? That was a, a lifelong dream of mine since I was a child. Um, I remember when I was, uh, you know, my daughter's age, about seven or so, or even before then, I was fascinated with airplanes. Fascinated with airplanes. Mm. Um, I started making airplanes, little models of my own. Then later on, got into uh, building those plastic, uh, uh, you know, the you know the oh, like the models, FX you models. Assemble with them. Yeah, then you paint them and all that, um, and getting into the warbirds and all those things, and and uh, and just I was just fascinated with aviation. I would actually make my own uh, models that I would fly. I would put a little electric motor, and of course, I would just crash all over the place. But <laughs> I, I lived in a, my hometown in Patra in Greece, which is on the southern southwestern Peloponnese. Uh, there's a couple of NATO air bases nearby. Mm. Okay, so every morning. I would wake up to Phantom F4s flying overhead cool. and the F104, you know, start, uh, what, what were they called? The, the, the F104s, the, I think the star, star something, star fighters, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Just fly right over, you know, and, and I was like fascinated by the, <laughs> you know, all the noise and all that stuff when I was a little kid. So, you know. And so now, so Nico, we're like, we're like flying brothers now, right? Because we yeah. both fly the same plane. We both fly, you're, you're an SR-22, I've only just gotten, I used to be an SR-20 for about a year, but I've just moved up to the 22. Um, why, why did you choose Cirrus then? And just before we say this, neither of us work for Cirrus, right? We just kind of fly the planes, but why, 
just like them. Why did you choose the, the SR22 as your plane? The place that I was renting diamonds, DA40s, hmm. from uh, Dare to Dream Aviation down here in, uh, they used to be in Fort Lauderdale Executive when I first moved to Florida from Chicago. I was looking for some, you know, a place to rent airplanes from, right? So uh, I found Dare to Dream, they had a very nice aircraft, very well maintained. Um, I was renting their diamond 40s. Hmm. And, uh, but they had a bunch of Cirruses there, Cirrus SR20s and, and 22s, right? And uh, uh, of course, like many, many pilots, we have all these misconceptions about the Cirrus, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's got a parachute? It can't be good. Uh, I spoke to Chris there that uh, owns the place and I said, Chris, you know, I, I want to get into getting checked out into the, the Cirrus. He said, okay, here's what you got to study. This is the material and let's do it. It's all cross country flying and all that. Mm. The moment I got into the Cirrus, uh, I was hooked instantly. Mm. The way it felt, the way it performed, and the fact that uh, it's actually pretty economic considering the, 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 the speeds that you uh, travel with, and it actually fit perfect for my mission, the type of flying that I do for my business, but also for personal purposes, uh, flying up to Chicago, you know, mm. or for business purposes, going anywhere. Uh, the fact that you have a, a parachute sitting behind you um, and you, you will use it in case of an extreme emergency, um, that is a, a deal breaker for any other airplane for me. Yeah, so. and so you use it, I saw in your one of your latest videos, you fly for work as well. So you fly to business meetings as well as flying general aviation for fun? I do, I do. That actually works uh, great for, for my business. It's, it is an amazing business tool. Um, being able to do those complicated legs where, you know, in one day uh, you're gonna go, let's say, for example, uh, fly to North Carolina to a conference, and the next day go to Ohio to another conference, hmm. and the next day go see some employees uh, team work, team uh, co-workers uh, up in Chicago. Um, also, see some family while you're at it. On the way back, uh, going to see a customer in Tennessee, and uh, then on the way back, just you know, after like five days of flying, come back home. Um, you can't do that stuff with uh, the airlines. It's impossible. Yeah. Uh, and if you can do it, it will be super expensive, and also you would always be relying on them, on their schedule, with all the delays that, that uh, have to do with the airlines nowadays, especially in the US. Um, so, uh, and, and for business, this is just great. It's a great tool. It's probably the best thing that I have ever done for my business is to own an airplane and make it, put it to use for the company. So what's next for you and your flying and your channel? That's what I know, what's, what's your next big adventure? Yeah, I mean, uh, there's, there's one cool uh, video that I'm actually gonna be putting together in the next uh, few weeks. Um, where I did a flight, uh, uh, went up to North Carolina for a conference, um, then uh, ended up going up to Chicago after that. Uh, dealt with tons of weather, yeah. especially down here in Florida, crazy weather system, uh, into thunderstorms. Um, it was quite nasty, uh, to the point where it was the first time where I considered that I may actually have to pull the chute. Oh, that's how bad. No was. way. That video was pretty bad. Yeah. Um, anyway, ended up going to a trip in Iowa, quick lunch trip. You can only do that stuff with GA, right? Mm. Uh, with, for a company that we're trying to acquire. And then ended up on the way back, went to Tennessee, in the middle of Tennessee somewhere, and uh, to see a, a software vendor that is bringing us about a million dollars worth of business per year. Wow. Right? Revenue for us, that is. Uh, that was a quick meeting. Uh, just a couple of hours and then I had a little lunch in a little town over there and then took the airplane and left. And that's the kind of stuff that you do with GA, general aviation. And these are the things that I feel are powerful about what we do. But I also have some other, some other cool adventures coming up. Uh, this summer in Greece, actually, I found an American registered uh, Cirrus, November 429er Charlie Delta. I will be flying that. In Greece? Uh, in Greece, awesome. yes. We, yeah, we may do a hop over to Venice, uh, Italy over. It's just about three hours flight from yeah. uh, my hometown and maybe a couple of Greek islands. So there's going to be some videos coming up for that too. Oh man, that's going to be awesome. You're going to get some awesome footage actually because I've been to the Greek islands once when I was a kid and loved it. It's beautiful there. 
You know what's funny? Actually, I was thinking about you. I was thinking, you know what? Maybe I should, you know, call Steph and get a, get a hold of you and say, you know what? We should tr we should plan it. You know, for me to come to Australia and we can fly together. Well, you're always welcome. Obviously, I say come down. I would love to do that. The good thing is, as an SR22 pilot, we can share the flying. If you ever want to come down here and visit and um, yeah, fly together, I'd love that, mate. That'd be awesome. Absolutely. That would be Fantastic. All right, well, next Good. video, next uh, Nico Steph video is gonna be you in Australia and us flying together. Let's let's make that happen. Let's do it, I like it. Now, just one final thing. So Nico, if um, I'm sure most people watching this know your channel already, but um, if you guys haven't subscribed to Nico before, I'll put his details down below um, so you can subscribe to his channel. If you like what I do in a series, then you're just gonna love what he does in a series because it's new airports, new airfields, new challenges. The, the video production qualities obviously goes without saying it's brilliant. So definitely subscribe to Nico's channel. Um, I'll put the link down to your channel below. Oh, Nico, I had one more question for you, mate, as well. Is there anyone that you wanna give like a YouTube shout out to I do I do I want to send a shout out to Baron pilot I don't know if you follow him but he's a cool guy I'm actually I'm planning on flying with him soon so we'll be doing something Baron pilot shout out to him great guy um, Steve-o Knievo uh, all these guys they're amazing people so yeah 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 it's a cool cool community of pilots that we're growing here on YouTube I love it awesome nice talking to great. you great <laughs> All right, buddy. You take care. We'll chat soon. All right, thank you, bud. See you. Yeah. Bye-bye now.